I'm back with another palette knife video and today I'm going to show you how I created these amazing palette, well I think they're amazing, palette knife flowers on the top of cupcakes. I have all of my regular tools here and I've pre-colored some buttercream. I know I've had so many requests of can you please show me how you color your buttercream? Um, I, I don't do anything special. I mix things until they look right to me. There is no rhyme or reason, um, but I will try to film a video like that in the future. Anyway, I'm starting off with some cupcakes. As you can see, I picked a batter um, that wouldn't puff up or give me really rounded tops. If you do have a really rounded top, you might want to cut that off so you have a flat surface to work on. And then I'm just going to use my regular small offset spatula to um, frost the top of the cupcake. And basically what I'm creating here is the base for the flowers I'm going to put on top. So whatever that means to you. I took my time creating something that was flat, but nice to look at. It wasn't too perfect. Um, I wanted to have kind of like a painted artistic kind of vibe, um, which is why I wanted to leave some streaks and lines in it. But again, I wanted it to be quite flat at the same time. So whatever um, works for you or whatever you think looks best is a good decision there. Next, um, before I show you how I created the flower on the cupcake, I'm just going to walk you through um, how I picked up the buttercream for my flowers. I know there are so many techniques. Um, a lot of people have their own style. This is just my method. It is art. I see it as art. I am so happy to be sharing this tutorial, but also please be gentle and kind. And if this is not the way you do it, or if you think it takes too long or isn't worthwhile, you don't have to let me know. That's okay. Uh, just click out of this video if you don't enjoy it anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, for those of you who are interested in my my style here, I'm just spreading with, again, that mini offset spatula. I just have a couple of different kinds of colors of buttercream here and I'm spreading them into a really thin flat layer on my cutting board. You can use, um, I, I have seen people use just like uh, Silpat or any other kind of like hard food safe surface, <laughs> whatever works for you is fine, but you want to create a thin layer of buttercream. Now there are many methods for picking up the buttercream used in the petals. I really like to go in with just a small kind of diamond shaped palette knife. I've got a couple of different sizes here, a couple of different brands. Um, a lot of my palette knives were gifted to me. I don't necessarily know where you can buy them, but you can do some searching online or go to an art store. Um, so I like to start off by grabbing a bit of buttercream and then pressing it against my cutting board in an open area, an open space, to create um, kind of a little uh, like pyramid shape here on the bottom. I want it to look like a, a mountain or like a triangular kind of shape. Um, and then I'm going to go in at about a 45 degree angle from one side constantly pressing down and scooping up more and more buttercream. Depending on how big the palette knife is, how far away you go each time you grab more buttercream, um, where the tip of your palette knife is, if it's at the side, if it's above the edge of the buttercream, you're going to end up with different kinds of petals. So keep that in mind as you play around with this style and this technique. Um, there, there are a lot of different results you can get from this same general basic method. Now, as you see, I press that down onto my surface. It is quite easy with this method, just pressing flat, which is one thing I love about creating these cupcakes is that it is very easy just to create flowers on a flat surface. It's much harder on the side of a cake or something vertical. 
You can go in from the opposite side here on the left side to create petals going in different directions and you can when you're satisfied with the amount of buttercream you have picked up and the size of the petal um, or the leaf or whatever you're creating you can just press it down um, onto the surface and gently slide your palette knife away you might want to clean up the edges depending on how much of the petal is going to be seen especially if it's just a straight petal or something you might want to um, and you don't you don't want to drag a bunch of buttercream with you as you pull away uh, buttercream is fairly forgiving so you can move the petals around and adjust them once you've press them onto your surface but do remember that um, buttercream because of its very very high butter content is quite temperature sensitive if your buttercream is seeming too warm if the room you're working in is too warm it's going to be more difficult to work with these if the if the butter is too soft so if you can i would recommend working in a fairly cold room <laughs> and or sticking this cutting board or whatever you're working with into your refrigerator maybe for a bit if it's seeming like um, it's too warm and or you can't adjust the temperature of your room you can just keep adding petals to your flower in any shape um, however whatever you are going for what your vision is um, so I'm just going to show you a couple more petals here again starting with that little triangular mound of buttercream on the bottom um, and then gathering up more and more buttercream as I go along collecting it again my palette knife is at a 45 degree angle just picking it up a little bit at a time um, to create petals that either are going from the bottom or after you added a lot of petals and your palette knife would be in the way, you can use something like a toothpick or another palette knife to pluck the petal off of your palette knife and then arrange it wherever you want. You can do the same with leaves, you can do the same technique with other shapes and sizes of palette knives just to get a different vibe and I'm going to show you some of what I do here um, with my palette knives just on my cutting board and then I'm going to move on to my cupcake and just show you as I'm more of a close-up of setting the the petals and leaves on the cupcake so here I'm just focused on the gathering of the buttercream and then we'll move on
As I mentioned, I'm just going to show my petal placement. On this cupcake, I am starting with my petals. I'm starting just with the flower. Um, and I'm going to go back and forth adding petals to both sides on the top. And then I'll go in and add a little bit for the center of my flower and go in on the bottom and then add some leaves. Depending on what kind of flower you want to make, what, you what vision you have, what style you're going for, you may want to add the leaves first, um, which I will show you that after. So I'm just gonna let you watch. Again, all of the techniques, besides that little blob of the center of the flower, all the techniques for gathering the petals are exactly what I was just showing you on my cutting board. So if you're watching me place these petals and you're like what how did you do that um you've skipped too far ahead please go back <laughs> so again i'm just gonna go through adding petals to create the vision i had in my head and once i want to add some to the bottom or over the top and my palette knife either can't reach that section or would be in the way um, I'll just transfer the petal to uh, uh, to a toothpick or something else so I can maneuver it a bit more easily As I mentioned, you can put the leaves down first, and you can do that very 
proper palette knife kind of technique or you can just gather a bunch of buttercream on the bottom of your palette knife it really just depends on what vibe you want do you want it to be more of a smeared blurry kind of thing or do you want it to be really defined um, lines and you know crisp details um so depending on what you want and you can do this for your petals as well like don't let me stop you you can just gather your buttercream by smearing your knife along um some buttercream it doesn't have to be precise i i do like the really precise edges for my flowers but i also like this kind of softer leaf also um, if you do want the the really firm edges for your leaves here is a glimpse at that um, so yeah I just I just want to show you a couple different techniques here and I'm gonna continue on showing from some different angles how to pick up the buttercream for your flowers for your petals um, for the the leaves everything uh, I just want to show a bunch of a different things uh, from different angles so that if this is a technique that is new to you or if you're trying to learn something trying to practice you can do that along with me or if you just like watching pastry videos because you find them calming then yay me too um i hope you enjoy this <laughs> Thank you. 
So I hope what you've gained and been able to see from this video is that yes, there are some basic techniques, things like, you know, creating that little mound of buttercream on the bottom of your palette knife, picking up the palette knife, um, using the palette knife to pick up buttercream either at an angle or just kind of smearing your buttercream around and depending on um, the final result that you're going for, depending on how much of what kind of technique you follow, how much buttercream you pick up, what colors you're using, um, how many things you layer on top of each other, how simple it is, you know, if you end up adding other additional elements, other details, you know, the center of the flower, if you go in um, with a paintbrush and add some really fine, minute detail, what direction are you going with this? Where, what is your vision? What are you creating here? Um, you can really drastically change what a palette knife cake uh, looks like, cake or cupcake. Um, I will say, especially in the beginning, it is a technique that takes a lot of time, regardless of, you know, what style you're going for. It requires a lot of practice, a lot of playing around, experimenting, trying different palette knives, trying different brands. Um, and that's okay. I, I know that all, all pastry to me um, to a lot of people is art, you know, you're creating an edible piece of art and I think palette knife creations really go a step further into the edible art category more so than, you know, something that's delicious. Uh, um, not that it's not delicious, but you know, I personally am not one to just crave mouthfuls of buttercream i would rather eat um like a, a mousse cake than i would this cupcake but it is just stunning and depending on what you want it for the occasion the color scheme the vibe that you're going for i mean there are just endless truly endless possibilities and i practice and play around a lot with flowers and relatively similar flowers you can see i um my ending photo i have a picture of a, a cake that i did with the similar colors to these flowers that i'm going to share with you soon um you you can go in a lot of different directions you can make so many different kinds of flowers and more than that you can create all kinds of pictures and paintings and things on palette knife um, on, on cakes or using food as a surface instead of a canvas. So I, I hope it's something that you enjoyed watching. I hope it's something you try in your own kitchen. Um, and yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and being here. Um, I really do appreciate all of the genuine, wonderful comments. I so appreciate everyone who is enjoying these kinds of videos and I hope to have more for you very soon. Alright, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!